This unit is going to revolve around the ideas of force and pressure. Force is defined to be the push or pull on an object. We measure forces in newtons in the metric system and pounds in the old imperial system. One pound is equivalent to 4.45 newtons. For this class we'll be using newtons exclusively. Okay, some types of forces we're going to encounter include the force of gravity. And for the force of gravity, it's going to be a force acting between two masses, such as between the Earth and the Moon. And the force of gravity will always point toward the center of the objects. So the Earth is pulling on the Moon, the Moon is pulling toward the Earth, and the forces point directly in line with the two center points. Okay, the second force we're going to look at is the force of tension. Force tension is found in ropes and strings. You're going to see, if we're focusing in on this basket, we would see a force tension pulling up and to the right on the basket. We would also see a force tension pulling to the left on this basket from the two different ropes. Realize if we were focusing on the helicopter, force of tension would point down and to the right. And if we're focusing on this man, tension would be pulling him off the building, be pulling him to the right. Okay, another force we have is force buoyancy. Force buoyancy is going to occur whenever you have a object in water and or any other fluid, and force buoyancy points up. It's the upward force on an object in a fluid. Okay, the next one you have is force elastic. Force elastic is a force that occurs in things like strings, uh, springs and rubber bands. It occurs when the object is deformed and it tries to restore the object back to its original shape. There will be an elastic force pulling up on this mass. Likewise, there will be an elastic force pulling down on the support. So when you stretch this spring, there will be an elastic force pulling on each end of the spring, trying to restore it back to its original shape. Okay, for this block sliding across the table, there are two new forces that are going to apply. They are force normal, and the force normal would be the force from the table pushing up on the block. Normal is a contact force, and it always acts perpendicular to the two surfaces. That's what the term normal refers to, perpendicular. There's also going to be a force friction. So if the object is moving to the right, friction will be acting to the left. So you have force normal and force friction as the two new forces in this picture. Okay, finally, if you do not know the name of a force, you can use the term force applied. So in this case, we see a person pushing on this train they are pushing with a force that we can call force applied. Okay, so let's do some real life examples. So here we have a little kid underwater and we want to know what are the forces acting on him. Well, we've got gravity pulling him down toward the center of the earth. And we have force normal. I'm sorry, we have force buoyancy because he's under a fluid pushing him up. So we have gravity down, normal up. Okay, we've got a baseball player sliding in the second base. In this case, we have a force gravity pulling him down. We've got a force normal pushing him up from the ground. We've got a force of friction that is acting against his motion. So we've got gravity, normal, friction. And if his hands are in contact with the bag, we may also have a force normal or a force applied pushing him back toward first base. Okay, we got this kid pushing a hockey net across the ice. And just like we had before, we've got the force of gravity pulling down on the net. We've got the force of normal pushing up on the net. We've got friction, friction acting against the motion. 
and we have the force applied from this person's arms pushing the net forward. Okay, we got a baseball, I'm sorry, a basketball suspended in midair, and in this case, the only force acting on it is gravity. There was a force on it when it was in the hand of the thrower, but now that the ball is in the air, the only force acting is force gravity. Okay, we got a person being uh, pulled up a uh, object using a rope, and in this case, we would have a force tension pulling them up. We would have a force of gravity pulling them down. And depending on if there's any kind of contact, if he's hitting into the wall, there could be a force normal pushing him away from the wall. Okay, so they are different examples of forces. When you hear the term pressure, pressure is related to force, but different in one key respect. Pressure measures how concentrated the force is. So it's measured as the force per unit of area. <coughs> so for instance, on a bed of nails, a person can lay on a bed of nails because unlike a single nail, there is a lot more surface area. And the more surface area you have, the less pressure there is. So pressure measures how concentrated a force is. It's measured in newtons per square meter. This is also known as a pascal.